Well, thanks for the introduction and hello everyone. Welcome to our talk. Today, the topic of our talk is health game designers analyze data, how to develop an online pivot table tool. So uh, let's get started. Before the talk, here is a quick introduction of myself and my partner. I am Zijie, a project manager from NetEase, and I'm also a game designer in Naraka Blade Point team. And my partner, Yong Yuan, is a tool developer in Thunderfire UX. He has developed a virus of tools uh, from web tools to uh, client tools. And he has a coding experience for over 10 years. And the two he have developed have chipped in several games in our studio, such as uh, Revelation Online and Naraka, et cetera. So today we're here to share how to help game designers quickly get started with decision making through data and uh, cultivate data-driven culture by developing a reproducible online pivot table and analysis tool with a low development cost. We will organize our talk into four parts. The first would be what problems we are facing with. And the second, second part would be the design pattern and how to quickly achieve this tool. The third part would be a simple demo shows how the tool is chipped in our game and how it works. And the fourth part would be the takeaway and suggestions we can bring to all of you. Okay, here comes the first part. What problems we are facing with? In our studio, uh, data-driven decision-making has been a routine among designers. Data is the most objective factor that loyally reflects the exact operation pattern of a player. Uh, then designers and the user researchers can dig the real demands hidden behind the behavior. In order to cultivate data thinking among designers and make decisions quickly through data, designers often need to raise demands to our data engineers to obtain data and then use Excel or other tools after obtaining the data for analysis. However, data engineers in our studio often have other important tasks to handle. Uh, they are often assigned in in-depth research and the, the development of some important topics in games, such as financial system monitoring and social system monitoring. Also, they are responsible for in-game recommendation system and abnormal monitoring. Uh, here's a diagram shows how a uh, data demand work before our tool chipped in our workflow. Normally, there are three ways to handle a data demand in our studio. First is developing a real-time real check monitor. And however, it costs, with, uh, it costs much developing resources. Uh, second, we have a business intelligent uh, platform. Uh, designers can raise a data demand and use the data dashboard for stable demand. And third is directly raise demands to a specific engineer for service. A data product manager might be helpful to clarify designers' demands into keys and rules uh, of the database to the engineer. The process will cost several colleagues for every demand, and the communication cost is also high. Let's take, an, let's take this diagram as an example. For a data demand, a real-time check method is instant, but is resource costly. The second one is BI platform. Let's assume it may cost uh, three hours for an engineer to develop for a single demand. And the third one is manually fetch. It, it may cost uh, three hours and many colleagues to coordinate to finish the, uh, the fetch operation. Additionally, all of these three methods have communication costs. We have data product managers to handle the communication process with designers. The communication process may also cost all the relevant people for, let's just say, for an hour. So every method have either resource cost issue or time cost issue. But our tool as a customizable tool can handle different demands in one tool and a single designer can handle this. Facing with the situation above, our tool is targeted to finish the whole data demand process in 30 minutes 
and only with a designer his own. This diagram shows the traditional way we handle a data demand. It takes at least three persons to handle a single demand. Four processes are involved in it. And this diagram shows the target of our tool. Designers directly get the data through our tool, skip the communication process and the repeated operation of writing SQL code. Engineers can spend more time on the more valuable work. Before our tool is developed, there were four process uh, in the total to finish the data demand. But after we ship it in our tool, there are only two processes in total. Again, let me emphasize that developing every tool is for upgrading the efficiency of our colleagues, lower both time cost and labor cost. And the pivot table tool is not excluded. And then we go to the second part, what solutions we suggest. For an engineer, querying data is just writing several lines of SQL code to look up uh, some data in the databases. But for a designer, to, accept, to expect every designer have a technical background is not practical. Let them learn SQL code is not a wise choice. Uh, the key problem is how to bridge the designers with the data. Before the tool is developed, our data product manager and engineer who communicate with designer and the marketing, marketing department had really a hard time to know what some designers really want. Uh, like one of our uh, data product manager mentioned, uh, this demand is a total tragedy and a long word document with ambiguous descriptions. Finally, I found that the, they even did not tell me which logs to search. Uh, I do not know which, which designer gave these demands, but it is obvious that the process cost, uh, cost much time for designers to clarify with data product manager and engineer about the exact demands they want. Gradually, our data engineers work out a regulation to let designers to follow. Designers are required to provide an Excel file including important messages and rules they want, they want to add to the SQL code. Like in this picture, uh, they are told to provide time information like every Friday, Saturday, Sunday from March 11th. And the logs they want to check uh, is the GM trials dungeon reward log and the inner logic of some data like, like the average daily activity it costs less time in communication, but still need engineers to handle the SQL search operation. Still, more than one people are involved in this process. Following this, we want a more direct way to let designers to handle data demand on their own. Something like uh, advanced search engine, it should have powerful functions and customizable keys. But advanced search is a tool which is hard for designers to learn. Too many keys to add, and it is easy to miss important information. We should not give designers too much things without directions. We need fewer entrances, but lead to a correct SQL code with enough messages. So after this, we, a more practical method is to translate the SQL code into natural language that every everyone can understand. Designers can set the keys, like filling some forms uh, to finish the paragraph of text, and a SQL language can be generated automatically uh, to automatically query the results in the databases. So combining with the data structure contained in our game, we decided to use a 5W model to design a question and answer system. The designers can use 5W to organize their data demands in several questions. So 5W2H is originally a concept in management field to disassemble an event into several elements. Uh, we modified it, it from uh, original ones to meet our situation. So our 5W is who, which refers to the primary key of this data query and whom, which refers to the detailed description of the primary key. 
and what refers to the purpose of the data query, when refers to the range of the data query, and where refers to the server range selected for this query. We use 5W to cover all keys a designers can query. Uh, they just need to choose exact keys among several drop-down menu. And 5W can disassemble demands like uh, dis disassembling other events. And it only provides five entrances for designers to fill. It won't be too messy for them to handle. And let us see how exactly this method works. This sentence shows the designer want to query all rows in November 16th at all servers, all channels. The information include the row's name, the date, uh, they create the row and the servers and the occupations and the battle power. The five W questions will show one by one for designers to answer. It is also a good way to ask designer to think again about their data demands by go back through the sentence again. By this means, we try to let the designer know what are the elements to form the data demands. And this is how the result of our tool given. We provide the data through a pivot table. Designers can modify the pivot table with the exact key they want to show. And data visualization is another important demand of our tool. Designers need an intuitive view of our data. A pivot table is a good way to re representing data with more than two keys. So that is why we decided to aggregate the pivot table into our tool. So uh, enough part for the design pattern. And now it comes to the engineering part. Let's leave the stage for my partner, Yong Yuan. He will introduce how to achieve such kind of tool with low cost method. Hello, everyone. I'm Yong Yuan Dan. How to achieve a pivot table to present day is another issue we are facing with in the development. Let's see the test stack of our tool first. It's a Telegram web tool. The front end user mainstream technology structure, TypeScript and React. The component library use an open source library and the design. The API show is the Python Django, which we can implement lightly and easily. And the database in my circle. So how to choose the power table based on our stack? <coughs> uh, we investigated some of the popular technology solutions, commercial software like FlexMaster, PHTML Trump, Pivot is not suitable for us, since it costs a lot of money. Open source components such as the private table just are not suitable for us. And because the UI is not pretty useful friend enough and uh, it's not easy to extend. Uh, so we decided to use the table component of any design to extend the information. After we decided to implement each end design table, there are still some connect issues. The backend man meets two problems, performance of its fetching date and the position of circle. The front end man needs to four problems, fixed serial number, head and date possession, frozen common low and the serial white. I'm here to share three main problems I have in come to you. Uh, the first one is how to implement the serial numbers on the top and the left of the table. Many of source private table components don't have a serial number for the private table, but Excel has a serial number. So our designer also wants serial number. To agree with the accent tools and the relations, we also make our tool intuitive. Uh, it's very simple to use and then to implement this. 
We all need to set, to set the first column as a number sprints column, and uh, the number size can be increased according to the data length to achieve the number sprints. For the order of the top, we can set the letters to the value of the header. If there are more than 26 columns, we will use A, B, B. Uh, the second is table header setting and the date procession. Our the table are generally used to view set machine data of rows, columns, and the value. But then the tables can only view two dimensional data. So we need to make the end design table component view multiple dimensional data. It was the function that the header of the end design table component can be nested. Uh, put the value of the column in header and throw the nesting of the header. And uh, let the row and value data play normally. So that the most basic row column and the value data of the power table will be quickly displayed in our table. Uh, many people may think that the header can only put things like a title, but we have to break the conventional thing so that you can achieve some expected results. Here is how I exclusively set in children of the commons. The length, the length that and the results of the final power table are shown in the figure below. The third problem is freeze to rows and the columns of the table. When there is a lot of data in the table, the current rows and this column can be frozen after this uh, certain data, which is uh, permitted for display the data. That's also the reason why I didn't choose other open source power table components, because they don't provide this function and it's really Chapson to implement. The end design table components support raising comes by default. We only need to manage the, the colleague events and use the CS card to phrase it to phase this low. The front picture is the effect F after we add the frozen links. And then there's no need to worry about the data we want to check after too much scoring. After the brief introduction of the design pattern and the engineer pattern of our tool, let's see the exact situation when our tool achieved in our games. Let's take a revolution online as an example. Revolution online is a memorable mobile game with a large number of players supported by our studio. Due to the large scale of players, nothing data has been generated. The designers are accustomed to the German decision making, and uh, it has become a future of the development group. They also plays a large part of our daily data demands. Here's how the designers use our tool. Our tool has been shifted into the game database. Designers now direct use our tool for data months. Up to now, we have achieved in several games and, uh, and make future contribution in more games by having designer to bring and uh, analyze data easily. Part four, how to implement a private table in your studio. Today we show how to have game designers quick get started with decision making through data and uh, cut rate. Get driven cut by developing a reducible online power table analysis 
to reach a low development cost. We also showed why it's valuable to our studio and how it changed the workflow. And if you want to implement a two leg or five table, I can give you two suggestions here. Uh, first, try to cut rate the data driven source among your designer. On your strong way of improving user experience through data and uh, make decisions through data, can the tool make better contributions? Second, the purpose of developing tools is to improve if and uh, reduce repetitive man labor and uh, reduce costs. The direction purpose of our tool is the same. We must look good at using open source software for rapid development. The technologies that used by our tools are here different. If you are interested in them, you can also refer to implementing a similar tool in your short period of time. And here is the three main takeaways that you may be interested in. First, uh, the lecture is a bridge between design and the data. Second, BADAB can help designers to replace their data demands and cultivate data driven thinking. So, I provide a script and a low cost of tool that developers can refer, especially for individual developers. Uh, thank you for your attendance. Thank you.